A story you'll only see on two. More than 750 murder cases await DNA testing in Chicago right now. Technology exists to get a potential suspect's DNA profile in less than two hours. So CBS 2's Suzanne LeMagneau asks, why isn't it being used here in Illinois to cut down on the backlog? They could have found who did this to my son. They have a mess for the, the DNA. On November 5th of 2017, Reginise McBride says her son Ronald was shot to death during a robbery in the West Loop. Since that time, McBride says she's been waiting for DNA testing in her son's case. It's unfair to me, and not only to me, but all the other mothers who's waiting for an answer about the death of their loved one. McBride reached out to State Senator Patricia Van Pelt regarding the DNA backlog when the senator had a hearing on the issue in December. McBride learned there were more than 750 murder cases awaiting DNA testing in Chicago since 2014. The total DNA backlog for other crimes is more than 13,000. The average age of each DNA case is 208 days statewide. We deserve closure on these murders. Who leaves 757 DNA kits that are associated with murders on a shelf? Van Pelt learned about Andy Corporation based in Colorado after her December hearing. The company uses instruments developed with the military, creating a DNA fingerprint in less than two hours, which can be entered into databases to find a match. The speed is uh, certainly one of the most desirable um, aspects of using this instrument. We spoke with their director of communications via Skype. She told us the company has been in touch with state officials, among them law enforcement and lawmakers, about providing their services free of charge to help with the backlog. We always um, offer the, the assistance first, and that's where we are at this point uh, in Chicago. McBride's reaction? When I hear that, I, I'm angry. Why have something and not use it? I think we should embrace Andy and any other company that we can get to bring into this state to resolve this issue. This is not something we can put off. A state police spokesperson says rapid DNA testing must be more developed and is in limited use in five states. Andy says their technology is the only one approved by the FBI. Acting Director of the Illinois State Police Brendan Kelly admits turnaround time must get better and he's looking at how other states have reduced backlog. Now three days ago he also says he appointed a forensic scientist to oversee testing. A new website will also help sex assault survivors track their cases. New software will also show real-time data for law enforcement prosecutors and scientists. Rob, Erica. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.